Latest developments out of Mojave Valley. 100 homes are under mandatory evacuation orders right now as the Willow Fire continues to burn. The latest numbers show more than 6,000 acres have burned and the fire is now 40% contained. Only on Action News tonight, we're hearing from those who stayed behind in danger despite the order to leave. Action News reporter Joe Bartels is at the fire line. Rest is a precious thing for crews battling the Willow Fire right now. Relief crews are heading to the scene of the fire. They're going to be relieving crews that have been working really throughout the day. Containment is expected to jump dramatically within the next few hours, but still a likely restless and sleepless night for those still forced from their homes. Firefighters attacking the flames from the air have been a welcome sight for people living in the Mojave Valley. Plumes of black smoke and fierce flames have filled the sky for the past two days. Some had just moments to escape. When I turned around, there was an officer there. Mandatory evac, you got five minutes to get. And he, uh, he goes, what about your husband? I said, he's right there and he's not leaving. Chris Gentry snapped name? these photos as she obeyed the evacuation order on Saturday. Her husband, Randy, is still at their home. Once the fire got here and I was on top of the house with a water hose and the fire was raging, the smoke was so thick you couldn't even see the firemen in the street here. Randy says he stayed behind to save dozens of animals, goats, chickens, cows, you name it. He says the flames came as close as 100 feet to his place. It was really tremendous. I mean, the heat, the telephone poles were falling over, the transformers were bursting. You could hear propane tanks going off here. Despite being threatened with arrest, Randy refuses to leave because of the animals. Fire officials are telling us that the evacuation order for everyone could be lifted as soon as tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Reporting in the Mojave Valley in Arizona, Joe Bartels, Channel 13 Action News. Joe, thank you. Our team